So when I made my previous video on Modern Warfare being trashed by IGN for being quote unquote too realistic, looking like you were actually shooting in a first person shooter, and of course getting criticized for not having a non-lethal option for the campaign. I, I, at least personally, I feel like I don't necessarily want to play 15 to 20 hours of what I was just shown. It's very jarring, yes. and I found myself feeling extremely uncomfortable during the demo. If the headline coming out of this was, you can play this game non-lethally, I think that would have that would have really changed my opinion of it. When I made that video, I thought we were done, man, okay? I thought we had reached the absolute pinnacle of stupidity surrounding modern warfare, but once again, the internet has proved me to be completely wrong, and today we're gonna be taking a look at probably one of the dumbest articles I've ever read in the history of gaming. Now, this article is coming from a website called CCN, which I've never even heard of before, and after reading this article, I can see why if the rest of their website is this bad. So the title of this absolute gem of an article we're gonna be reading today is what the fuck call of duty new killstreak forces gamers to commit war crime by melanie hawthorne well you know what they say gamers are the most oppressed group of people on the planet and now we are forced to commit war crimes while playing a fictional first person shooter these people are clowns i mean dude after a while you just really start to hope that these people aren't real like honestly people cannot be this stupid but once you spend enough time on the internet you start to realize that yeah it's just sick to assume the worst in most of these situations. So our genius of an author here decided to break this article up into different sections. So I'm gonna be doing the same here. Anything to get that extra watch time if you know what I mean. But nah, seriously guys, just make sure you are prepared for this big brained logic we're gonna be reading through today because you may possibly lose quite a few IQ points after listening to me read through this garbage. So I think without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this amazing article. Call of Duty Modern Warfare fans rejoice, Infinity Ward is bringing back killstreaks. But in keeping with the game's controversial rollout, what should have been a universally popular announcement, has many questioning whether Activision went too far. Now I want you to keep that last sentence there in mind in this masterpiece of games journalism. Apparently many people are out there questioning if Activision went too far in this situation. Personally, I haven't seen anyone actually upset over this who really even cares at all because you know, it's a fictional video game, but I don't know man. Maybe it's just me Maybe I am the one who has been living in a bubble all this time Killstreaks were a staple of the Call of Duty franchise before they inexplicably disappeared in favor of snoozeworthy score streaks. Modern Warfare players won't be snoozing, that's for sure, because they will be left questioning the ethics of simulating war crimes, even on a virtual battlefield. Again, I think this person's just putting a little too much importance on this, like, no one really gives a shit. No one's gonna be questioning the ethics of whether they get a killstreak or not. I mean, it's Call of Duty. No one puts thought into Call of Duty. People just play it to have fun and honestly I think it's pretty funny that you get to literally gas the other team but I'm not soft as fuck and actually have a mental capacity that's able to distinguish the difference between reality and a multiplayer shooter I mean it's always these very very special individuals that always somehow manage to find a problem that literally no one else cares about but them and their little internet circle jerk I don't know man something's starting to tell me that this person has probably never touched a Call of Duty game in their life The most controversial killstreak introduced in Call of Duty Modern Warfare is White Phosphorus, a self-igniting chemical that can set fire to just about anything. Clothes, fuel, ammo, human skin, and more. Nothing is safe. White Phosphorus can cause immense damage and means an extremely painful end for its victims. So basically, just like reading this article. <laughs> But nah, seriously guys, we've had fucking flamethrowers in Call of Duty where people literally scream as they get burned alive. But the second it's with chemicals, you know, that's a big no-no. But I really just don't think it's that big of a controversy, to be honest. Like, I have literally seen no one complaining about this whatsoever. If anything, people are just glad to have kill streaks in general and not those trash-ass score streaks. Precisely for that reason, white phosphorus is highly restricted and outlawed from use in even most military operations in the real world. Well, there's the fucking difference there, isn't it? You know, we're not talking about the real world. We are talking about Call of Duty multiplayer here. Modern Warfare's creators knew they were taking a risk with the white phosphorus kill streak, and Infinity Ward's Taylor Kurosaki defended the decision in an interview with GameSpot. Before we get into this quote from the guy at Infinity Ward, okay, it's really pissing me off here. Like, what 
risk did they take including white phosphorus as a kill streak? I mean, we're talking about Call of Duty here. It is a game. It literally has no impact on anything or anyone in the real world. People are not going to go out and start gassing people with white phosphorus because they played Modern Warfare multiplayer and got a 10 kill streak. Okay, that's really fucking stupid. And it just really pisses me off when these games journalists cannot distinguish the difference between a work of fiction and the real world. Not everything has to be a perfect one-to-one -one representation. And honestly, it's just really fucking annoying. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what this guy from Infinity War had to say. Today, modern warfare means the war isn't just over there. The war is everywhere. It's in our own backyard. It's in places that can suddenly become a battlefield at a moment's notice. It's about enemies that don't wear uniforms. It's about civilian collateral damage kind of being, unfortunately, part of the equation. I mean, honestly, he didn't really even need to say all that. All he could have said is, it's a video game. Sit the actual fuck down and shut the fuck up. And honestly, that probably would have been much better in my opinion. It probably would have sold a lot more people on the game. But it's whatever, man. They're going with this whole theme for this game about war being represented in a more realistic light, so it does make sense considering what they're doing with the campaign and everything. I mean, the response was just a little too diplomatic for my taste, okay? I wouldn't give big-brained questions like that the time of day if I was a dev, but whatever, man. Back to the article here. However, many gamers were not impressed. Yeah, I fucking love the use of the word gamer, unironically. What type gamers trading cats guy here? But honestly, though, I really just can't wait to see this massive backlash. So they basically took this tweet that Charlie Intel put out, showing off the different kill streaks that were announced, and they have some of the replies here of people who were so outraged over this announcement of white phosphorus being in the game. And I honestly can't believe Infinity Ward is able to put up with this insane backlash, man. They must have one hell of a spine. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. Really? They're going with white phosphorus? Let's normalize the use of something banned by international law as both a chemical and incendiary weapon. Destigmatizing war crimes is great. It's not like they could even use the excuse of being historically accurate. Wow, man, like, I just, I don't even know how they're gonna move forward from this. I mean, zero likes after two days, dude. This must really have Infinity Ward sweating their balls off, dude, at this point. Like, honestly, I have no idea if there's any recovery. One dude with a fucking unicorn stuffed animal profile picture on Twitter is upset. If you have any Activision stocks, now is the time to sell, man. Sell those things quick. The end of Activision and Call of Duty is upon us. War crimes, holy shit. Shit, dude, this guy said war crimes and it has three likes this time. They're multiplying. Yeah, I think it's over for Modern Warfare at this point, man. Like, honestly, this game might as well just be canceled now. Three likes, dude. I wish my videos could get that many. Hold up. You're going to include a kill streak award that involves white phosphorus? You already teach kids that war is cool and glamorous, and now you're going to glorify war crimes? Do you have any sense of decency whatsoever? Jesus Christ, man, we are now up to six likes, but who knew that Call of Duty exists just to glamorize war to kids? I mean, I just thought it was a fun arcade shooter with cool campaigns and multiplayer, but you know, man, these soy boys like Spaghetti Kozak. Fucking shit, where do these names come from? I mean, these guys are really a sensitive bunch that really just have a hard time not taking things seriously, man. Like, honestly, it's just a video game. Chill the fuck out. I mean, this dude's acting like this game should literally be called Call of Duty War Crimes because it somehow glorifies them. I mean, you really just can't make this shit up, man, but let's keep reading, though. Others recalled the similar controversy over Spec Ops The Line notoriously emotionally difficult to play. The game featured one scene in which the player must unknowingly massacre a group of civilians with the devastating chemical. Highly controversial in its time, the game used the scene to shock and to highlight human nature and the value of choices. Bad flashbacks of Spec Ops The Line. I mean, this is pretty stupid in terms of a comparison considering you're literally comparing a single player campaign that has the opportunity to provide context and a multiplayer kill streak that literally has no context whatsoever. I mean, it's just a really stupid stupid comparison, and maybe the Modern Warfare campaign will touch on that subject, and even if it doesn't, who actually gives a fuck? Like, honestly, it's a multiplayer shooter. No one's suddenly gonna think that people should literally get gassed because they got a 10 kill streak in Call of Duty, dude. Like, honestly.
Call of Duty Modern Warfare takes a different approach entirely, but it's equally jarring and even less justifiable. In the new title, White Phosphorus Attacks are a reward unlocked through getting kills. Ethically speaking, that's pretty awful. Not shying away from difficult topics can prod gamers to wrestle with moral quandaries, encouraging them to whoop with laughter as they burn their opponents alive with the same chemical allegedly used in Syria just two years ago does precisely the opposite. Yes, because after all these years of having predator missiles and drone strikes in Call of Duty, literally everyone who has ever played a Call of Duty game now thinks that blowing up civilians in real life is just hilarious, man. Like, honestly, dude, just hear me out real quick, okay? What I want you to do is just for a second, try and separate reality from a fucking video game. I mean, honestly, this is so irritating. Just because you are so stupid that you cannot draw this line between reality and fiction does not mean that everyone else buying this game can't as well. Like, it is so irritating, but I can guarantee you guys this is one of those people that probably plays Candy Crush every once in a while while they sit down to take a shit or something, and all of a sudden they think they know everything about video games. But at least on the bright side, we are almost done with this amazing piece of journalism. Attempts to address difficult topics are always risky, and in most cases, I think they should be praised, not here. Sadly, it seems even if Activision and Infinity Ward hope to make a political or moral statement, they miss the mark entirely. A chemical as hellish and destructive as white phosphorus should never be treated with levity, much less find its way onto a YouTube Best COD Kills Ever compilation. Disclaimer, the views expressed in the article are solely those of the author and do not represent those of, nor should they be attributed to, CCN. Well, thank God there was that little disclaimer there. I think the better idea would have been to just never publish this dumpster fire of an article in the first place, but hey, who am I to judge if this one person, who probably doesn't even play the game anyway, wants Call of Duty to change, I think Infinity Ward should go for it, dude. Like, honestly, it sounds like a fucking fantastic idea when 15 million plus people who are actually gonna buy the game don't give a single fuck. I mean, what can I say, man? Typical entitled bullshit we see almost every day in 2019 from the game's media. But real quick on a positive note, you know, we gotta end things with a positive here and there. I've been watching like a ton, and I mean a fucking ton of multiplayer footage for Modern Warfare, and honestly, this game looks absolutely amazing. Like, I'm really excited. I've got my Dark Edition pre-ordered. When I saw those night vision goggles, you know, I just had to have it. So I've got that pre-ordered. Overall, I'm really excited for the beta coming in September. The multiplayer footage I've seen, it looks absolutely amazing, and it looks like it's gonna live up to the hype. Not really sure about that whole mini-map thing. Like, why the fuck did they remove the mini-map from multiplayer? Like, that's kind of a Call of Duty staple, and I really don't know of anyone who is asking for mini-maps to be removed out of the multiplayer. That just seems really fucking stupid, but hopefully they'll add that back before launch. But anyway, overall, Modern Warfare is looking absolutely fantastic. I'm really excited for a Call of Duty game for the first time in several years. And honestly, I was probably going to buy the game anyway just because of how triggered people were getting over the campaign footage they showed at E3. But anyway, guys, that does it for the video today. I want to thank you guys so much, as always, for taking the time out of your day to check out the video and for all the recent support as well. And I will catch you guys next time.